It's one of the largest competitions in the country. Some even call it the Super Bowl of pageants. 51 contestants stepped on the stage of Miss USA this year, but one contestant is receiving national headlines after she was eliminated for her swimsuit scores being too low. Michaela Deal, Miss Indiana, is here in studio with us today to give a strong message to young girls and to give us the skinny on this year's swimsuit competition. Michaela, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, oh my gosh, what a whirlwind. Yeah. Okay, you are Miss Indiana USA, but you have strong ties to the West Michigan community. Absolutely. Well, I always claim myself as a Michiana girl because <laughs> I grew up right on the Michigan-Indiana line. I went to school in Michigan, I went to Albion College, but my family businesses were just over the line in Elkhart, Indiana. And I, in that area, you guys are a little bit too north for this, but we call ourselves Michiana. And of course, when I went to Albion College, I spent a lot of time here in Grand Rapids. And you have strong ties to WOTV for I Women do. and Wood TV because you were a semi-finalist on our 2010 Face of Four competition. How was that? Oh, that was so much fun. I think that was my first introduction to live television. And I was, I was terrified. I was actually looking at some of the videos <laughs> off of Facebook that we had first done. Mm -hmm. And now I've been doing it for the past two weeks and it's a bit of a blast. But you guys kind of gave me, you know, gave me a chance to shake off all the nerves uh, back in 2010. So how was it being crowned Miss Indiana USA? A dream come true? Uh, yes, it's, I don't know, I mean, yes, a dream, but a goal that I had finally reached. I had been doing pageants, as you guys know, for so long, earning scholarship money to graduate debt-free, and then the dream to, to compete on the national stage is born. It's, it is just like a little kid in, in your rocket football, and his dream is go to the Super Bowl. Same thing for me starting pageantry at such a young age and of course you want to compete for Miss USA uh, and and I was able I had the opportunity to do that. So since you stepped on the stage in your swimsuit in front of a national audience you have gained a ton of media attention okay let's talk about People Magazine we've got Inside Edition mm -hmm. Access Hollywood the New York Times LA Times the list goes on how has it been handling all of this attention? Uh, it's kind of like tunnel vision. <laughs> I've had a lot of help and guidance from the Miss Universe organization as well as my director. And we have a publicist that's that we're working with. The most important thing but through all of this is the message that we're sending and is a positive uh, body image and self-confidence for young women and young, all, all boys and girls of all ages. And it's kind of hard. I, I'm ready to catch my breath a little bit, but I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to happen for you anytime <laughs> soon because you are the talk of the nation right now. Okay, so tell me, you were crowned Miss Indiana USA. And what was your training like as you were getting ready to step on stage at Miss USA? You know, it was, I call it a balancing act because mm -hmm. to compete for a national title, there's a lot of things that go into play. Not only do you have to be physically fit, but you have to be make sure your emotions are in check and you have to make sure you're mentally ready and rested. So there's a lot of, a lot of things to balance on your plate, especially having a full-time job, uh, having a family, and, and kind of having to keep up with everyday life. So it's, it's definitely took a lot of to-do lists and a lot of help. I couldn't have done it without my community and my sponsors. You know, when you stepped on the Miss USA stage, America fell in love with you. You were obviously a front runner, placing in the top 20, but when you went up in your swimwear, the tweets blew up, Twitter, over 10,000 tweets with your name on it, and there were a lot of different emotions going on with these tweets. One Twitter handle says, y'all, I love Miss Indiana, she's a thicker pageant girl. And someone else said, Miss Indiana, thank you for looking like an average woman. But let's talk about this because an average woman in America is a size 12. You're 5'8 and a slim size 4. How is this average? I think it's just, I, it's really hard because this year at the, the, the contest, we really saw so many different shapes and sizes of pageant girls. And I think I got the most attention that night was because I made the top 20. And there was a bunch of girls that, I mean, so many girls that would have been wonderful Miss USA's, but it is a competition. And when they named it, narrowed it down to the top 20, I just happened to be the one with the more fuller figure on stage that night. And I think that's where that attention came from. But the fuller figure, it's always funny because I, I always dreamed of having curves. I'm very, <laughs> very much an athletic build. And I think they're just not used to seeing that in the pageant world, especially on national television. And the support that came out of it is so, I, I, it felt so good to have the support because it could have been the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to young women? What is your message on being healthy, being active? You said in an interview that you like a good steak. <laughs> yes. There's nothing wrong with that. 
I, just to be yourself. And I know it sounds so cliche when it comes to pageant world, but you can't be anybody else but yourself. And you have to learn to be comfortable in your own skin and be the healthiest version of yourself because that's what makes you feel good. And when your inner beauty feels good, it shines. And that's what shines on stage in pageant world and in life. I mean, whether it's you're giving a presentation in school, you're trying out for a spelling bee or a new job, it's your inner confidence that really wins people over. That's true. Okay, so what's next for you? I'm really trying to stay grounded <laughs> through it all. I have a lot of, a lot of things to tie up at home and, and try to figure out my next step. I've had a lot of opportunities come my way, but I can't forget uh, everything that I have at home. I have so many people to thank. I am so behind on thank you notes. It's unreal. So I'm trying to, trying to catch up at, at home life before I move on to the next phase, but the door's wide open. All right, Michaela, thank you so much. You are as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside, and we thank are you. so happy for you, everyone here in West Michigan and across the country. Now, if you want to keep up on all of Michaela's success throughout her reign and beyond, because it's going to be crazy and amazing, you can go to Twitter and follow her at Real Miss I N U S A.